welcome again to Let's Talk. I'm Karen Peeler. Today, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to upload your e-certificates in your LinkedIn profile. Now, we really recommend that you upload your certifications or your licenses in your LinkedIn profile, specifically in the licenses and certifications portion. Um, putting it out there as a post or just putting it in your feed as a picture will not really um, attract your headhunters or even your recruiting manager because if you are going to post it in your as part of your profile they get to see um, uh, it's easier for them to see the certifications that you have um, entered in your resumes or in your CVs so let me just show you how you are actually seeing a copy of a certificate that uh, a sample certificate that you will receive and um, this is how it will uh, look like. And then um, it's important that you get to see the credential ID and um, for, for your um, headhunter or for the recruiting manager or for the, your profile visitors, for, for them to be able to see a copy of the certificate, it needs to be uploaded uh, in the cloud. So first we just need to make sure that we get to copy um, the, the credential ID. So that's going to be one of the things that you can do. And you can do this in the other, you know, in the other um, certificates that, um, or the other certifications that you, that you will receive. So let's go back to the, to, to the email. So like what I've mentioned, it's important that you put it in the cloud. And if you um, get certificates that are already there in the cloud, then you just need to get that link. So here, um, what I will do is I will just add this to my Google Drive and you can also add this to your OneDrive or your in your Dropbox. But the thing is you need to make sure that it is shared publicly so that they will be able to view the, the copy of the certificate. So once that is done, um, what you will need to do now is make sure that you get to see um, where your copy of the certificate is located. So I can just go there. So let me just... Um, Go to my drive. Okay. It will be part of this one. Now, the thing that you need to do here is you just need to make it a shareable um, a copy. Right clicking it would uh, allow you to get a link. So if I do that, um, I can already get this um, dialog box or a prompt. And then the thing that you need to do here is change the uh, the access from restricted to anyone with the link. And then you also copy the link. So once that's done, you can already go to your LinkedIn profile. So let me just go to my LinkedIn profile. And then on your profile, you just need to go and um, open it. So go over to your uh, profile and then go to the section wherein it says licenses and certification. So just click on the plus sign and then put in or type in the name of the uh, of the uh, training or webinar that you have attended. So let me just go back to the email and see and then copy so that I won't make a mistake. All right, so there I was able to enter the name, put in or type in the issuing organization in, the, in this case, let me just put here, let's talk. Um, if it does not expire, then put a check on the checkbox that says the credential does not expire. Put in the issue date, so let us put here February 2021. Now for the credential ID, this is what I mentioned earlier, since I've already copied, copied um, two uh, text strings, um, you can do a window shortcut and that would be your Windows logo and V. And here I will have my, uh, I have here the, the, uh, the, the ID that I was able to copy earlier and then the credential URL. So this is the, actually the, the portion or the, the link uh, wherein we made it accessible or it can be viewed by all. And then it is saved. So after you have done that, your certification will look like this. And 
if you have a profile visitor, all they need to do is just click on the C credential and they will be able to see a copy of the certificate that you have uploaded. So this is something that you can also share so that they would know that you really attended a particular program or webinar. All right, so that's it. So I hope I was able to uh, share with you how you can upload your certificates via your LinkedIn profile.